if I were to ask each one of you two defining moments in the experience of innovation with Mark, what might those two defining moments be? There are a lot of moments. <laughs> you're, what you're watching is the kind of mental flip book there. Um, you, you live a lot in those uh, weeks that you're living with Mock. I think um, for me, it's the way, you know, the decks that we put together are both at the moment of the prototype, or no, I'm sorry, um, the product concept approval, and then at the end of the pitch, they're, they're significant and a lot coalesces in the final moment. So, you know, I'd say really kind of the way that you have a wide variety of inputs and then it really coalesces into something pretty meaningful and powerful. Um, that I'd say is certainly one of the formative uh, moments of the experience. I'd sum it up as three, although I would agree with Nisa is more. One was the new venture board member training that took place at the very beginning. Hmm. Uh, when I was trained on how to be a good board member for this, I felt like I was signing a contract in a way. They went through, Steve, this is how you're supposed to, you know, function in this role. Now they weren't trying to, they, they were artfully, effectively putting some boundaries around me and saying, this is your freedom within that, you know, as well. But uh, it's when I kind of really had to take the dose of humility and sign up for it and say, okay, I'm not going to be calling a bug and Nisa about this every day. Um, or, you know, there, there was some, some element of discipline or understanding that this is what I'm signing up for. The second one um, was really the interaction when I got to see the piece in action, the day in the life of, you know, during the process where I really saw how these interviews and voice of the customer were taking place, how it was being facilitated. There were numerous other meetings that were important too, but that one kind of lodged in my head, okay, this is why they're doing it this way. And the third one was really in the process of the final pitch. Um, and, and kind of looking and being able to get some insight into, okay, this is how the whole process was orchestrated and how they also kept things on track uh, for that. So those, those are three pivotal moments for me, each one reinforcing uh, the confidence along the way. Not that as many and others would say that I hesitated to argue and debate different things at times, um, but because uh, I felt freedom to do that. But uh, those were kind of three, three moments for me. Um, the pitch. It's always the pitch. That's mm. that's the moment that we're we're um, sort of building toward. Um, the as the storyline coheres and we begin to to really stitch together um, what not only what we learn but what we're going to do with what we learned. It's 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 a magic moment. I think Nisa, when we were um, in the conference room in San Francisco and we had you know, all these pieces of white paper on the table. We're drawing furiously um, the, the various diagrams and things we wanted to put into the slide deck. That's the moment of, of coherence where it all just sort of snaps together and you can see like, oh, this is it, we've got it. And, and I, I, I love that moment. That's, it's a beautiful time.